Okay, there we go. <clears throat> okay. So, I guess, I guess I'll talk about this for either the VOD or whatever. Um, but, there's been a change. I thought about it last night. Looking at options for this challenge. And kind of looking, because Dragon's Fury was starting to look really out of place with this challenge. And not really fitting with the theme of what we're trying to do here. But, like I mentioned last night... There really weren't any other games to choose from. There wasn't really anything else where I could go, well, I can't just replace it. However, I thought about it some more and kind of started thinking outside the box a bit more. And then I realized that there actually is something that could work. And it's a very unusual choice. But this does actually fit the theme. So I'm going to boot up the game, show off what it is, and then explain why it's in the list. <clears throat> so let me get that ready. And then we'll do runs of it. <laughs> it is not Mr. Chen's Gourmet Paradise. Because that game... The only reason I lost time on race day was because of RNG. The rest of my actual skills weren't an issue. <clears throat> Ugh. Oh, my SNES cables are terrible. Yep, it is a Game Boy game. So, the reason this next game is in is because it's a game that was in a list that I participated in, but I didn't even get to play it because I had already forfeited. So here is the game. There it is. <clears throat> I had a typo in that, I just now realized. <laughs> Beat World 3! Fixed it. And yes, Michael Jordan and Mulan have, be have been shifted up because... <clears throat> I wanted to use my Mulan cartridge, but also it's an enhanced game, so it just made sense to slot this in between after Mulan and before Gargoyles Quest, that way I can just go straight out of this into Gargoyles. It just made sense to do that, but yes. I didn't even get to this game when I was in Tiny 10 number 8. So all the practice I did for this game meant nothing at the time. Uh, Rodland I got to play in Tiny 10 Remix 2. Gargoyles Quest 2 I played on my own, and plus I did get to play the NES version for a race. Battletoads Game Boy, I don't really care for that much anyways. But out of gas, I never even got to show off my skills in, if I even had any. I never even got to do this. So it just made sense to slot this in as a game that I really could have I really could have done this. But I we we never really got to find out, so. This did kind of fit the concept of revenge. Hey, PetaQ. Thanks for the good luck. We're going to try runs of this in just a second, but... I was just kind of explaining why this game is in now. But, uh... Anyways, plus, I did get to... Uh, I ran Funhouse for NES, and this is basically Funhouse NES. But it's a Game Boy game. By the way... <clears throat> I don't know if this was known or not. I actually found this while messing around last night. I know you can press start to skip out of, uh... I know you can press start to skip, like, the little cutscene or, like, fanfare or whatever, but if you just hold select, because start pauses your game, but if you just hold select, so, like, I'm holding select, the first frame available, it starts to get out of that. So that saves some frames per stage. I don't know if that was already a known thing or not, but... <clears throat> anyways, anyways, 
let's switch on over. Anyways, so this is the this is the new list. So Michael Jordan is now number two. Mulan is number three. Out of Gas is four. The rest of the list is the exact same. There's my face. Okay.